Hey, I'm Dustin from Morbill. And today, concrete countertop. Whoa, shit. I'm fine. I'm good. Thanks. Thank you. All right. All right, I'm up. Hi. Oh, hi. Can you get my beer? Stop! First thing you gotta do is you gotta wipe this down. Get all the dirt, grease, anything like that off. Otherwise, it's gonna mess up your sander and it's not gonna scuff it right. Now, before I sand, there's one thing I have to address, and that's safety. Take it seriously and stay hydrated. You're probably thinking that I should probably have hearing protection. It's okay. I can't hear for shit anyway. <laughs> Now once you've gone over all of it, just run your hand over it, make sure that it's nice and scuffed. You don't want it rough, you don't want to get any kind of splinters, but you need something that the cement will adhere to. So now that you vacuum the counter, take some paper, plastic, either or, and some tape, and tape just below the counter to protect the cabinet. I recommend the Formula 549 made by Henry or Ardex. Uh, it'll go on super thin, it's got a built-in polymer, it won't crack, and I've used it before, it's great. Like I said, I've used 549 in the past and for over two years now it still looks great. But this time, I'm using something way different. So the product I'm going to use for this countertop is floor level. I can feel you judging me! Alright, so I got the cabinets masked off with 9 inch paper and tape. I brought the tool from work that, you know, combines them. Whatever. It does more than a sound effect. It's finally time to mix up the mud. I'm making mine a little thicker because it's a different application than what it recommends. So if you're using Ardex, definitely follow the skim coat recommendations. Time to pour it. Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> Just lay it out. Trawl it out, get it nice and thin, make sure you cover all of it, and do manageable amounts. Oops. In the nooks and crannies really good. Get your hands in there and just get dirty, people. This is why people keep getting sick. No one gets dirty anymore. Be a kid, have fun. All right, first skim coat's done. I'll let it dry, then I'll sand it. And then I'll do two or three more skim coats, however many I think I need. Oh, this is drying. Here's one I did yesterday. It's dry already. Obviously. I've sanded it. It does have imperfections, so I'm going to skim coat this bitch again. Okay, so the second coat is set up. And as you can probably see, it's a little rough. That's okay, though. Sometimes I like it rough. No, but really, the reason why it's rough is, uh, well, sometimes I can't leave good enough alone. So, while it was uh, setting up, I thought, hey... It's still a little damp. I could probably smoothen that out, you know, right before it's too late. Well, it was already too late. So it had the adverse effect and made it pretty pretty rough. But that's okay, though, because I was going to sand it anyway. I'm going to do three coats on it, and I think before I do a third coat, I'm going to play with some staining. Maybe give it like a marble or a, like a granite look. So uh, we'll play with that a little later, though. But I do want to point out just how awesome this stuff is and this is why I picked it is it sticks to everything this is just paper this is, the, this is just a paper facing of the drywall you know there's no paint no drywall mud obviously so uh, this floor level cement has stuck to it and you really gotta work at it to get it off that's what she said so um, and don't worry, I'll sharpen the knife later. But that and the price. For $27 at Home Depot, you get 50 pounds. For $27 at Home Depot, you get 7 pounds. So, you know, I'm not... And it was, it was already leftover material that I had left over from doing something in the garage. So, I can't complain. Uh, you know, it's like a trial and error thing. You know, they didn't know asbestos was going to kill anybody until it did, so trial and error. Sometimes you just got to kill a couple guys. Like I said, I was going to sand the countertop no matter what anyway, so I'm just going to smooth it out with an 80 grit sander. Ah, that's 83 grit. It says 80 though. Hmm. 
Warning! It makes a mess on, whoa, on everything I just cleaned. God damn.